Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. Today's episode, we're going to be drawing a bunch of grapes. Now, grapes are delicious. They come in many varieties, and they're nature's candy, unless you count raisins, which are made from grapes. So let's draw some. Now this is a pretty easy drawing. All we're going to be doing is making a pattern and repeating it in a bunch shape. So starting from the top, let's start by drawing a grape. Now grapes are round-ish. Trust me, nothing I draw will ever be exactly round, so don't worry, I don't expect anything of yours to be that way either. But a little heavier on the bottom, a little wider towards the bottom than it is on the top. Then draw another one right next to it. But not the full one, just one that's kind of overlapped by the middle one. Do the same on the other side. And then repeat a little bit lower, starting again from the middle, or off the center of the middle, however you want to do it. Then work off to the sides, making these kind of grape shapes. <laughs> grape shapes. Then do the same thing to the right. Remember, we're always working off of the middle. So we start off a grape in the middle like that. And then we draw them to the right and we draw them to the left. Now at this point, you're going to want to have gone about as wide as you're going to go after about three rows like that and start getting narrower and narrower so you're down to one grape as bunches of grapes are traditionally drawn. So let's continue. Now because I used a green pen, these are green grapes. If you use a purple pen or a black pen, some sort of a pencil, oops, start from the center, don't get lazy like I almost did. So what happens And grapes are all different sizes. Don't worry if they're not completely even. I've forgotten what I was talking about, which is probably for the best. So, oh boy, almost did it again. Don't work in from the sides, work out from the middle. And eventually you want to be down to about three grapes, like we are right there. Then you can kind of make one big grape down at the bottom. Two little ones to that side. And then all you need is the vine. The stem from the grapevine. And I'm not sure if grapevines have leaves on Grape leaves, of course they do. So we'll put a leaf on this. First we'll make a little circle on the top for dimension. And if you remember how we make the leaf, we make a long S shape, then bend off, make a point at the end, and then connect that with a big curve like that. And a line down the middle. Now here's some fun. We're going to shade every one of these grapes. And as usual, the light will be coming from this direction. So we'll be shading the left side of every single grape. And some of the grapes at the bottom and the left can even be completely colored in. So they would be sh completely shadowed from the light. And of course you'll have to be more detailed with the larger grapes, the ones that can be seen more easily. But that's good for the illusion. Like I said before, you want to have more detail in the area that you have the uh, audience looking the most at. And you notice I'm not working from the center here. The outlines have already been made. Now, if you uh, had a lot of time, you could use the same pattern we used on the hot dog. 
just colored these in completely and just left little shiny parts instead of putting shadows. I'd like to say there's no wrong way to do this, but I have a feeling that's a challenge somebody would be up to. <laughs> uh, I'd rather you try to do it the right way. You can put a little bit of detail here on the leaves like that. A bit of shadowing on that too. Shadowing on the stem, just like we did with the flower, we make a line alongside of the uh, part that's away from the light source. And for good or evil, um, <laughs> I don't know if uh, I'm capable of creating evil, especially not with a bunch of grapes. I think we're almost done. I don't really like the uh, shape of the entire bunch here. So I'm going to add another row like that. Do a little bit of uh, shading. I'm probably doing a terrible job of, job of shading. Uh, I'm trying to do it from sitting behind the camera. Normally I would be leaning over the picture and the result wouldn't be that much better, but there, there would be some, <laughs> there would be some difference. Um, don't worry. As long as you're having fun drawing it, what difference does it really make anyway, right? So if you're at the grocery store, you can take a look at a, a bunch of grapes and get some ideas if you're interested in doing this project. And when you're done, you'll have something similar to this, a uh, bunch of grapes. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this with somebody else, subscribe to the channel. You will be able to see me draw more things on this exciting level. Thanks for joining me. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!